Hello, I am here with my patient and I am performing a head-to-toe physical assessment which includes inspection, percussion, palpation and auscultation. Inspection, which denotes visual surveillance and used to observe patient's breathing and clotting and also used to inspect patient's skin color or to check any other lesions or abnormalities. In palpation, it is consist by the use of hands using to feel the areas that cannot be seen and auscultation consists of listening through the device which is indirectly or through ears which is directly. Hello, my name is Judy and I will be performing a physical assessment with you. Is it okay? Yes. Okay, so let me first get your name. What is your name please? Angelo Ferrari. And your date of birth? August 31, 1998. Okay, so let me first get your vital signs, okay? Okay. Okay, so your blood pressure, your heart rate, your temperature are all in normal. So, Angelo, do you feel pain in your body? Let's rate from 0 to 10, which 0 is no pain at all, and 10, which is very painful. 0. Okay, good. And we already collected his height and weight, and his BMI is all normal. And now what we are going to do is to start from the head down to his toe. So his skin color is brownish pink, no signs of lesions and no signs of any abnormalities. He has a good hygiene, a good posture, and he's calm at all. His head has the same size according to his body. He doesn't have any abnormal twitching on his head. His face is symmetrical, there is no drooping on one side, and his eyes and ears are all on the same level. Next, we're gonna palpate the head. We're gonna check if there are any masses, indentations, skin breakdowns, or any infestations. Okay, so it's all clear, it's good. Next, we're going to palpate his temporal artery. Again, feel this. Okay, it's still plus. Normal. And we're going to find his facial muscles. Feel it. Massage it. And next, I'm going to press your sinuses. And please tell me if it is painful, okay? I will add a little pressure in it, okay? Okay. Do you feel any pain? Here? No. Okay, good. So next, we're gonna inspect the eyes. There are no swelling on the eyes. There is no sign of jaundice, and the eyes are pinkish. There is no erythema. The eyes are all on the same level. They are normal. And next, we're gonna test and check if there are any involuntary muscles or involuntary shaking of the eyes. So, Angelo, what I want you to do is to look at this object right here in my hand. Without moving your head, just your eyes only, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, so your eyes are, the nerves on your eyes are intact. Next, we're going to move on to the ears. As we inspect it, there is no redness, there is no swelling, or any abnormalities on the ears so angelo do you feel any pain on your ear no okay good so let me palpate the ears there is no masses on the ears and do you feel pain when i push this no okay good so his ears are all normal there's no masses presence no lesions and no pain at all so next, we're going to inspect the nose, if it is midline in the face, the septum, if it is deviated, and the airflow. So please punch your nose and blow. Okay, the other one, please. Okay, it's nice and clear. So his airflow are clear. And now let's check the inside of his nose if there are any drainage. Go. Okay, go. So it's clear, it's good. Now let's gonna test his taste of smell and please close your eyes and tell me what you smell, okay? It's a mint. Okay, it's good. It's correct. It's 
mint flavor. So next, we're gonna move on to the mouth. So we must inspect the lips. So his lips is pinkish in color. There's no chat, no source. And now we're gonna look on the inside of his mouth. So please open your mouth. Okay, so there's no any sores. Please let your tongue out. His tongue is moist and pinkish. So his mouth is good. So next, we're gonna move on to the next. So first, we must inspect his neck. If the trachea, please, if the trachea is in the midline, there are no lesions, redness, or any lumps. So it is good. We don't see any of that. Please move your neck. Move your neck, rather, side to side, please. Okay, next. Okay, good. Up and down. Okay. So he move it with ease. There is the nerve there is intact, and now we're gonna palpate the trachea to ensure it is midline on his neck. Okay. Okay. Do you feel any pain or tenderness when I touch your neck? No. Okay. Good. So next we're gonna palpate his carotid artery bilateral. Okay. So the strand is still plus. The other side it's the same strength to eat two plus and lastly we're gonna auscultate his carotid artery to listen if there are brewy sounds or swishing sounds okay so what I want you to do is to breathe in and breathe out and hold it for me okay So for the both side, I didn't hear any brewy sound. So his carotid artery are all in normal. So now, next, we're going to move on to check his upper extremities if there are any lesions, dwelling, or redness. And as what I can see, there is no any signs of abnormalities. So now we're going to palpate his pulse. Okay, let's check this. Okay, so it's in normal range and now we're gonna check his capillary refill if how many seconds when I pinch this finger of him okay so it's less than two seconds okay and now next we're gonna check his fingers and hands if there are any deformities okay so all his fingers, right and left, are all in normal. There are no any deformities at all. And next is we're going to check his bronchial artery. So we're going to check his pulse. Okay, it's good. And now next we're going to test his strength. So I want you to do is to squeeze my head as hard as you can, okay? Okay, okay it's good. And next, we're moving on to the chest. We will check his chest if there are any lesions or to look for any abnormalities like the signs of hard breathing. And now we can see there are no any signs of it. So we are going to listen to heart sounds right now. And now we're going to check and auscultate his heart sounds. So it's lock dog, lock dog, S1, S2. And next, we're going to listen if there were any abnormal sounds in his lungs. So please, I want you to, to, I want you to do, please take a good deep breath in and out, okay?
other one. So as what I hear, there are no more, uh, there are no other sounds. And now let's listen posteriorly to check again his long, long sounds. Okay. Now we're going to assess the abdomen. Angelo, are you having any stomach issues at all? No. When was your last bowel movement? Yesterday. Okay. And how are you urinating? Do you feel any pain while on pee? No. Okay, good. And now we're going to listen to his bowel sounds. Okay, to test if it is normal, hyperactive, or hypoactive. First, we will go to the first quadrant for the four quadrants. Okay, to the next right quadrant, the upper left quadrant, and the lower left quadrant. Okay, and now we're gonna do palpation. And Angelo, please tell me if you feel any pain, okay? Okay. So we'll be checking here if there were any masses or any lumps in his abdomen so now I'll be now palpating your abdomen do you feel any pain? no okay to the upper extremity no to the upper quadrant rather left upper quadrant no no okay this no no do you feel pain? no, no. okay good and now we're gonna assess lower extremities and the skin is normal there there is no abnormal swelling redness and the joints are also good the toenails looks healthy and next we're gonna palpate pulses and his legs are nice so we're gonna palpate his pulses His legs are nice and warm and I'm going to push his tibia if there are edema on the other side do you feel pain when I push this no okay so they are all in good condition so now we're going to check his posterior tibial and palpate okay. Okay, and to his dorsalis pedis. Okay, so both are all good. And also we will check the capillary refill on the toes. Okay, it's still the same as in the hands. It is less than two seconds. And right now I'm going to let him push. So please push your feet against my hands, okay? please push okay good job and lastly we are going to assess his back to inspect whether there are any skin breakdowns lesions dwelling or any lumps or redness and it's what I have felt and observed there are no signs of it okay so that wraps up on how to do physical assessment on patients thank you for my patient and thank you for watching